Hi everyone, a quick Sunday cardboard hole video here. Um, this hole I picked up today from a local cardboard sale, Sunday the 30th of September. Now, uh, I'll just quickly show you what I picked up and what I paid for it. Right, so now what I'm trying, what I'm doing now is slowly moving away from my selling of bits and pieces. So I tend to concentrate on slightly different type of item now, like things like trainers. I'm sort of finding my own niche after all these years. You know, I can't be bothered selling all this one ninety nine, two ninety nine. You know, so I'm slightly moving away from the smaller item rather than sell less more quality and at a higher pricing simple as that right so kick off with I have here a grow clock I've sold those before so many of those stuff yeah they're easy to sell they quickly goes uh, I mean I mean I sold them between 14.99 and 15.99 as a used one, this one's particularly very good. I don't need to do any touch up or clean, it's already sparkling condition. Uh, the lady wants a 10 quid. I paid okay, five quid was good, but I gave her six quid for it. I'll put up between 1995, see what happens. But I know they go for 14.99. Okay, the next item, which is very interesting, is a set of Christmas coffee set with you know your your uh, side plate here uh, fantastic piece of um, ceramic tableware here yeah absolutely brand new now you have one two three four five six plates and six cups as you can see lovely Absolutely brand new, still in a box. Right. Mm, paid five pounds. So now it's coming up to Christmas. Hopefully that will go straight away. I don't know how much I'm going to put up. I have to do a bit of research. But I'm sure easily you're looking about 20 quid or so. But it's quite heavy, so it's going to cost me about six six fifty to send it. It's really, really heavy, so... I have to bear in mind when I put up the listing on this one. Right, next thing behind me is um, picked up these two cordless reusable mini dehumidifier, the electric ones, the electrics, a uh, pound each, never sold them before, so I don't know how much they're worth, so I have possibly give it a go. I don't know, maybe couple of quids maybe 12 14 quid I don't know right now here is quite interesting again I found this book Harry Potter and the half blood prince now it says here if I turn around the pages a bit okay it looks like to me right okay it is actually believe it or not Yes, let's have a look at this. Yeah, first edition. Okay. I've I've sold them in a set. Um but never individually, so I am th I don't know what I'm thinking. I could I paid one pound fifty for it. Now I'll probably wait till I make a set and then sell it or probably get rid of it just on its own. Uh, I'm sure he's on his own. You're looking about nine, ten, between nine ninety-five, ten pound, fifteen pound mark, something like this. Okay. Again, I'll start picking up these BT telephone. This one. Uh, I need to check it out whether it works or doesn't work. I went. Uh, I took a punt on this. Guy wanted four quid. I paid two quid for it. On a basis, it doesn't work. So, hopefully, if I text it out and it works, 
uh, and it's good because it's black a lot of people love the black color so yeah that would go for 13 to 14 pound the next item is a pair of harachi now why i picked for archie here for this this pair is a good size for archie condition is good size 11 now uh, size 11 goes well you know large large size uh, i do quite well condition yeah good i don't need to do much work just list it take a photo and list it here uh, a pair of air force one I just liked it, uh, possibly good condition again. Maybe I'll do a bit of uh, get a baby wipe and wipe it up a bit, clean it up a bit. Now, the size on this, I think, let's have a look. Yeah, size five. That's okay. Ladies' size five, yeah, no problem in there again. Uh, another pair of Harachi here again. Now paid five pound, and this one is size eight. Yep, size eight again. Slightly threads are okay. You know the usual marking, and you need to use a bit of wipe. Get that cleaned up and yeah great now this is quite interesting found a pair of converse animal print or tiger print more like a tiger print or leopard print yeah tiger tiger print yeah very unusual indeed now this pair let's have a look at the size on this okay size uk7 yeah the thing interesting is one side's got spike here, yeah, it looks spiky, lovely, paid 5 quid, now if it doesn't sell the winter time, you're guaranteed when it comes to summer it will sell, so I'll probably put in storage over this winter period and sell it in the summer. Right, again, now these three well, one, two, three, four pairs of lovely trainers here. I saw one lady selling it, and instead of messing about, she was coming in all sorts of prizes for those three. So I end up paying four pair for thirty pound. Now they're very good. Some are very very good condition. Yeah, again this one is size seven. Right, this is Nike Code Force. Yeah, sold those before. I don't need to do much work on them. Bit of cleaning, and where you go. Again, next is the Nike Air Force. Yeah, good. Most of these uh, trainers I pick up, I always like to go through them well. You know, check every angle everything you know before i buy it you know it's not i don't have the time to mark about bring it here and and do all the kind of cleaning and and you know the usual stuff i don't have the time for that now prior to this because before i used to um get the trainer and you are not going to believe this i used to stick them in a the pillowcase and into the washing machine Seriously, I am telling you, seriously, I used to stick them in a pillow and inside. Get them to wash in a washing machine. This is size seven and a half. I'll stick it in there, put the detergent, put the whole lot, pillowcase into the inside washing machine. Yeah, and you go. And did the result do come out good? I, I didn't... I never damaged one of those leather, even though they're leather, they never used to get damaged because I used to put them in a pillowcase, right. Now I hardly do it. Uh, I try not to buy too much messy trainers, you know, if they're messy, I, I wouldn't touch it. Slightly messy, I don't mind. Like this pair here, Converse, size size 8, UK size 8. Look, it's still got a tag on and 
the condition is good, great condition. All I need to do is clean it up. That's all. Look, fantastic condition. Yeah, a bit of you know, you got your grimes and a dirt mark. That's it. What it needs, if you're wiping, and where you go. And even before, I used to stick them in the washing machine. Yeah, you know, why do we want to go through all this hassle of washing machine? And the day this is second hand, and I know if you can achieve. 24 25 quid uh, when you pay seven seven so I paid 30 quid for the four of them it works up about 750 roughly about seven pound fifty or probably less so why do I need to bother one of this pair hopefully is gonna bring me um, money my money back now this pair is, is definitely is gonna bring the money back here look now this is size 12 by the way it's a leather converse leather all star converse leather size 12 now this pair is the business here size 12 I haven't cross come across anyone yet size 12 but this is I have it's all white all leather condition absolutely immaculate I mean beautiful condition look absolutely brilliant Again, a bit of wipe, and while we go, this, this pair may bring my 30 quid back on this one. Right, so, you've seen this video, you've seen all of my other videos. Now, if you are training on eBay and thinking of starting a business like this, the first thing to do is, ah, there we are, look at this. I just notice it now when I'm filming. Look, this is where you come up. You don't think when you bought it. Look, I did not notice this. Now I just have notices when I'm filming. Great, isn't it? Look, the back back stripe of this is torn. Look, see that? So that that knocks everything out out of the water, doesn't it? What is this size eight? If size eight, I'll wear it myself. Yeah. <laughs> yes, size eight. Yes, I can wear it myself. Look. That has blown out. Look, this is work of clumsy. I should have looked at this. And unfortunately, I haven't. Now I just, as I was talking, I just see, see in this stripe here. See that stripe here? This one here, that stripe. Yeah, the Nike. Yeah. Now here, look, look at this. Is yeah, it's snapped. It's not longer there. So that reduced the price. So... <laughs> It's silly, isn't it? There you go. So I should have checked checked that properly. So that's it. That kind of thing you should always check when you're when you're buying stuff. Look for the little things. Yeah, I was too overwhelmed looking at uh, the other things. I did not notice. And there you go. But anyway, you always learn from your mistakes. And life, you all always make mistakes in life. So. Right, so if you're thinking of starting a niche, this is where how you get a go about. You start selling small items and then work slowly, work yourself way up. So, like I started, well, three, you know, I've been trading in eBay for many years, but recently, last three or four years, I started low selling 199 299 that kind of stuff and then moved on and slowly i realized why am i wasting my time selling all this 199 299 stuff why not start going up the scale a bit and find a niche so after trading for almost four years now big time well fairly big time yeah now i realized my niche is selling trainers and a lot of people are buying trainers for me so I'm sticking to the train trainer niche, yeah, trainers and shoes. I haven't touched any shoes yet. I'm slowly I will start touching shoes, you know, lady shoes, men's shoes, leather shoes, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But trainers working for me. And recently uh, recently I found a telephones. Yeah. Anything to do with cordless phone, non cordless phone, BT, uh, old style of phones they're going good they're going good time so yep there you go 
I hope this video has given you a bit of value. If it has given you value, please, I don't need to say this, but please make sure you subscribe, click the like button and do all that kind of good stuff. And at the bottom of all of my listing, I will put a link. This is an affiliated link to Amazon or eBay. If you are buying any materials, for your eBay business, if you would be kind enough to go through my links, then I will receive a few bits and pieces of commission. Few, I would end up getting a bit of few pence for a cup of coffee or a tea on a winter day car boot sale. I can afford to buy myself a nice, lovely cup of coffee or a tea this winter time. So I'll always leave a link. What sort of stuff you need to have essential to run your eBay business? Please, please make sure you click like and subscribe. All the other good things, and please check all the other videos I have. And I hope these videos are giving you a bit of information. Once again, thank you. So make sure please comment so I know exactly what's going on. I know you guys are, are watching these videos. Without comments, I would not have any clue what's going on out there. Um, I do have other YouTube channels. There is one that has just under 15,000 subscribers, which is nothing to do with this niche. It's a, a different total niche. It's a cooking niche. But that's another story. So <laughs> I want to make this channel as big as the other channel. With your help, I can get there. So do me a favor, do all the good stuff and please subscribe. Thank you so much.